Everything's iry. Yeah, man. <laughs> Just inhale. I want to give a little background about today's vlog. You're going to see Ed Hale, who is the husband of my friend Maggie Jones, who owns the micronutrient body sculpt treatment that I've talked about in previous vlogs. I got a call from Maggie about uh, nine days ago when I was in Denver, telling me that she and Ed were flying to Oregon in order to be with Ed's family because his younger brother Jay committed suicide. Jay's full name is Justin Hale, and I saw Meggie and Ed yesterday for the first time since they got back a few days ago. And Ed is in the middle of grieving his brother and uh, gave me permission to share some of the gifts that he's been receiving through his grieving. So I'll let him tell the story. Have a look. When right after he died, that first day, I missed him so much and I, I was so lost. I didn't know. I'd never lost anybody in my family. I'd lost my grandparents and it was like, okay, she lived to be what, you know what I mean? Like a full age and my grandpa too. But, but my brother, that was such, so much pain and grief. And I remember recognizing every once in a while that I was getting glimpses of, of comfort and that they were coming when, when we remembered the good times with him. And I remember, I remember saying to her, let's imagine, that, let's imagine that we can feel Jay's presence with us. And I was sitting on the bed and I said, I want to feel his, his hands on my shoulders. I want to feel him. I want to feel him standing behind me like I felt when I do calligraphy. I want to feel him standing behind me. And my little brother is like a trickster. He's like a magician. And he, he does the unexpected. And I kept waiting for my shoulders to be touched. But instead, this part of the hand right here, I felt this. <laughs> Felt it, and I go, Maggie. I can feel him right now. He's he's squeezing this. I met this lady from Korea that that uh, was super wise and full of light and love and truth. And when I explained that I felt that touch right there, she says that that's how, in an emergency situation, you can you can have all your chakras open up in your body. This opens your chakras. This this gets your crown chakra and it gets gets you uh, grounded and full of light and grounded to the sky and the earth. And and, uh, and that makes sense, that would be the sign that he would use, open open all your chakras, have, get this get this going again, you're right. You know what I mean, I had an inkling, let's imagine him behind us, let's imagine him with us. And then I knew it and I felt it and I've, I've had that experience to remember and to go back to. And ever since then, it is truly like that moment was it was like a small little grain and then the experiences that I'm having are, are, uh, are widening and widening and now I can understand and contemplate like the height of a, high, of a, of a, of a screaming eagle or a bird. I can, I can understand uh, that connection even, even if it's not, you know, even if I'm not being squeezed and touched, I can still understand how connected I am with, with, uh, with, with that knowledge, with that love, with that expanding resonance. Step up, get your faces down, right? Like the, get your, how it was, the, the phrase, I love that. Get your faces down. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want it. I want to be in my body and I want to be flowing with the, uh, the Holy Spirit. I want to be, I want to be powerful of the, of, of the, uh, the limited things. And I want to be moving and coursing in the unlimited things. And I wouldn't, I didn't know that as much as I know that now. I know that so clear now and I didn't know that a few days ago. And that's one of the gifts that my brothers brought to me. And the gifts that he brought to us here are infinite and eternal and limitless. And I love counting them. I love counting them because there's so many. And that's, and that's only one little fragment of it. And each of us has so many gifts that we're bringing to each other. Even the living people, we're bringing so many gifts. And I, I wanna just stay up here in this way of, of being where, where we're flowing and coursing in this because, yeah, because it's life and life is eternal.
I mean, the dance, there's some feebles and fobbles and toe, tep, toe, toe stepping, right? We step on some toes and stuff, but still, it's, it's a marvelous, it's a marvelous motion, right? I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to go back to, to being still. I want to churn it up, mix it up, turn it over, turn it over again, get it fertile, get it flowing. Yeah, let's pass this on to, to everybody. If you had to tell people one thing, what would you want them to know? Uh, honor. Yeah, honor this body temple and come up to the highest regions and, and just just make that grow, make that grow, make, make that grow in honor. Like I could, I could go on when I'm up here, I have infinite words. I could, I could, I could describe this forever and ever and ever. But the one word that pulls, pulls me back into my body and into my weakness is just honor. Just under, try to learn what I'm saying when I say that. Honor, honor, honor. Love, honor, cherish, right? Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna love on you forever, my friend. <laughs>